You're watching the community MMA. Naxu says, go watch Adriano Martin fight. Early stoppage, one of the worst stoppages in UFC history. Funny, everyone thinks it's easy to KO Mahachev with a lucky punch. Alex will end up like Charles. Mark my words. Reem, keep it real raw, says, this is the stuff I don't like, though. When Islam beats Volk, he was supposed to win. They aren't going to give Islam the same uh, props as they would Volk. It's a David versus Goliath story uh, storyline. Although in this story, David picked the fight with Goliath. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point there. Again, Reem, keep it real raw. And now you got Daniel Cormier coming out this uh, late yesterday saying that this will be the biggest upset in UFC history if Volk wins. And Chael Sonnen said a couple days ago that it would not be an upset. So how we, you know, I guess this it comes down to everybody's opinion. In one way, it will be a huge upset because the people, like including myself, is not planning on that to happen. You know, it's like when Leon Edwards knocked out Kamar Usman, we're like left in shock. You know, Usman was cruising to victory, having a tough fifth round, and then boom, the leg kick, it's over. So this will be a shocking situation just because going into it, no one's expecting it. Daryl Morris, I hate the rematch scenario if you lose. You should have to win a fight, come back, and then fight for the title. And these guys not fighting for a year or once a year, you should have to fight two times a year at least to even be top five, in my opinion. Big Hamza fan here, by the way. Yeah, there's a lot of us Hamza fans roaming around. Al Tapo, Mag Tapo, the voice of reason. I hear you. The UFC are dragging things out, thinking they are very smart when they are only messing things up. So, you, you know. When you get into Hamza Chamayev, if you're a fan or you know of fans like myself and others, we, we get deeply upset that it's been three years and he still hasn't had a title shot yet. When he's just, other than Gilbert Burns, he's absolutely uh, destroying everybody in, in, in quick fashion. I mean, not like two, three rounds, he's breaking opponents down. Like he's going in, he went in against Kevin Holland and beat him in like under two minutes. So... You know, what are we waiting for? This guy is clearly for real, and he's going to be even tougher in the middleweight division where people aren't planning that. we just been stuck seeing him fighting the welterweight. When he gets up to middleweight, the middleweight's not, <clears throat> it, excuse me, it's not nearly as deep as uh, the welterweight division. It should be very easy for him to take over that division.